I would like to thank my viewers for helping me to reach 200,000 subscribers and allowing me to make YouTube my full-time job. I only started making daily or almost daily videos in December of 2020, so I am impressed with how fast my channel has grown. Thus, to thank everyone, I will be answering many questions you have of me and geology slash volcanology as a whole. Let's get started. What is the volcano slash volcanic field slash volcanic complex that most catches your attention from each geological era of the Phanerozoic, parentheses, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic? For this list, I am purposely choosing unusual volcanoes. For the Paleozoic, although it barely encompasses the end of this period, I choose the Siberian Traps flood basalts which are largely contained in modern-day Russia. This flood basalt event may have been one of the largest, if not the largest, to occur on the planet, covering 5 million square kilometers of land in lava deposits up to more than 10,000 feet thick, which is believed to have caused the worst mass extinction event Earth has ever experienced. For the Mesozoic period, I pick not one singular volcano, but rather a cluster of kimberlite fields, many of which contain diamonds in the western Hudson Bay area. These largely formed due to a mantle hotspot which would go on to create a chain of seamounts in the Atlantic Ocean. And for the Cenozoic period, I pick the Navajo volcanic field. Not only did this long extinct volcanic field erupt significant quantities of a highly unusual rock type known as lamproite, but it also produced fascinating structures such as shiprock and the planet's largest, albeit non-diamond bearing kimberlite pipe. What volcano do you think is most likely to produce a greater than 500 cubic kilometer eruption? This is a tough question to answer as currently there are only 9 volcanic systems theoretically even capable of an eruption of this magnitude. Although my pick among these 9 is the Lawn Valley Caldera, there is currently no reason to suspect that it or any other system on this list will produce another catastrophic volcanic eruption with a volume of more than 500 cubic kilometers of volcanic rock any time during the next 10,000 years. Has a volcano ever erupted during a hurricane, and does the effects of both do something? Strangely enough, yes. During the VEI-6 explosive eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991, Typhoon Yunya swept over the volcano. Rather than causing a science fiction-style zombie storm, the typhoon slightly lessened the long-term atmospheric effects the eruption of Pinatubo otherwise would have brought. Within the Oregon Cascades, what volcano do you expect to erupt first to break Oregon's more than a century long streak without a volcanic eruption? Although this is purely speculation, I lean towards Mount Hood or the Three Sisters Complex. And if not either of those two, then the Newbury Volcano. What's your opinion on the mystery eruptions of the 1450s? I think the Kuwait volcano produced a VEI-7 caldera-forming eruption and is the source of the apparent 15th century mystery eruption. I want to know, is the Broughton Lake in Bali a caldera complex like Batur caldera? Broughton Lake is indeed a caldera complex just like Batur. Here is its large caldera rim. With this being said, the complex needs to be further studied as it is currently unclear when exactly its large caldera, now filled with several stratovolcanoes, formed. And now for some content-related questions. Will you ever cover seismology-related topics? And this related question. Currently, the methodology I use for deciding what videos to make revolves around several aspects. These include news events, topics I enjoy or find interesting, topics that have historically performed well on my channel, and experimental topics. Although I started my channel as a gemstone-related channel, I found that my audience really enjoyed volcano videos and that is almost completely now what I make. However, from time to time I experiment with slightly different subjects. If these experimental videos, which are slightly different than my normal content, perform well, I make more of them. If they do not perform well, I generally do not make more of them. Thus, I probably will cover more geology-related topics such as seismology, fault zones, and ore deposits as an experiment. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.